Yeah, which sounds like, which makes me sound like a crazy conspiracy theorist. Yes. Theorist. Yes. But like, we can talk about some science, and then you'll see that I'm not as crazy as I sound right now. I want to talk about this just because I don't think it's six thousand years old. Right. I'm begging you to see that if you were to just let go all of the things that you're terrified of and all of the things that bring you pain and all of the things that have been a tragedy in your life will become something beautiful. You let go of that coin and you let God hold on to you and you will become a different person. We all hide things in our closet and this channel is about pulling those things out of the dark and facing them. God, the Bible, all of that. How does it play like when it comes into science? Mm. And this, I think that this is just my like what I think, but I know I think I know a little bit more about science. Not think I know a lot, but a little bit more about science than I do the Bible. But mm. I think that the Bible is early explanations for things that were going on that we didn't have the technology or the understanding to understand now. Yeah, and so like it's. Um, people who see like a red moon and then they yeah. think that like God's angry at them or, or something. Yeah, or there's going to be like a big battle. Or when they really just don't understand red. that yeah. it's a natural process. Yeah. Right. So I think that come like what I said before, like people say, well, the Bible is not a science textbook. And so then they try to, like they say basically that we know so much now that the Bible is not applicable anymore. But I would argue that because I love science too and I studied a lot. But when I look at things, I see that it's consistent with the Bible okay, like, and not contradictory. Like, well, what are some things that you think that are like inconsistent with the Bible? Oh, I'm not too sure. Um, I was wondering if you could give me some examples because I don't really know. Okay. Well, some people will say that the world is billions and billions of years old. Yeah. And it came about like a natural process. Okay. That's a good question. Okay. Yeah. So I'll say that like it comes back to worldviews. And so they don't want to accept God or they don't, you know, they don't want to accept the Bible. And so they look at the evidence that we see like in the world yeah and then they say well this proves that the world is billions of years old but yeah. then i would look at that same exact evidence and i would say well this proves that it's not billions of years old it's exactly how long god said it was how long do you think the world um so i think it's probably about like six thousand years old what? but really? if yeah which sounds like which makes me sound like a crazy conspiracy theorist yes. theorist yes but like we can talk about some science, and then you'll see that I'm not as crazy as I sound right now. I want to talk about this just because I don't think it's 6,000 years old. Right. Because everything that anybody has ever taught us is that it's billions. Yeah. Okay, but also, like, we have, like, fossils. Like, right. That say that, that, say it. that it's billions of years old. Yeah, well... Well, it's because there was a point where, like, there wasn't really, like, life on Earth. And then through all the science and... All the magic that happened <laughs> but um yeah well we have fossils that say that like it's older right as far as like dinosaurs or even like we have fossils of other species of like humans like the neanderthals or right the pygmies of like indonesia we have different how to like, right so how would i answer about fossils yeah okay so that's where looking at the same evidence yeah. with our different presuppositions okay. we come to our own conclusions and so for somebody to look at a fossil and think that everything has always been the same way, yeah. it would take a long, long time for something to fossilize. Yeah. But if I believe the Bible and I believe that there was a worldwide flood, and this is really how a fossil is made, is that if something dies, which, like if something dies today on the road, it doesn't turn into a fossil. Mm. What happens to it? It decomposes. It decomposes, yeah. For something to be turned into a fossil, it has to die and then it has to be covered with sediment. Yeah which most of the time that wouldn't happen. Um, so you, but you if I believe- just planning stuff? No, I believe like, oh, that, teach these I believe that God together. flooded the earth when he yeah. said he flooded the earth. And so if there's water moving everywhere and sediment moving everywhere and things are dying and drowning, yeah. they're gonna get buried. And that would make fossils quickly yeah. instead of taking so billions of years. So what about the ice age? So- Does that like talk about in the Bible or? No, but it's easy to see where it would fit and, and be implied. Yeah. And so if there was a worldwide flood and then all this water is evaporating and moving north and freezing yeah. and raining, logically, like scientifically, after all, if there was a catastrophic worldwide flood, almost immediately after there would be an ice age. Okay. Okay. So why do you think it's 6,000 years? Um, okay. Yeah. So I'll continue with the fossils. Yeah, continue. So there's also like carbon dating. 
And yeah. usually people will say, oh, well, carbon dating shows us that it's billions of years old. But there's also carbon dating that shows us that it's not. And so carbon dating is really checking how much carbon is in a thing. And we know that carbon like disperses out of the thing at a like given rate. Yeah. And so usually they'll say, well, this thing has so much carbon in it. And that means that it's this old. But at the same time, like we see carbon-14, that's what it's called, in bones that are supposed to be billions of years old. But they're not supposed to stay in stuff that long. And so when we carbon date things and these things that are supposed to be billions of years old still have carbon, there's really no answer for that as far as saying that it's billions of years old because it shouldn't have carbon. It should run off in like maybe 10, 20,000 yeah. years and there should be nothing left in it. But there's still tons of carbon. And so if I believe that everything died like 4,000 years ago, well then it makes sense to me that there's carbon in it. Yeah. But if you believe that everything is billions of years old, it, shouldn't, it doesn't really make sense as to why there's carbon in stuff. I don't know enough about this. Mm. You definitely came in way more prepared for this question than I was expecting. I've had this talk with yeah, a lot yeah, of people. Yeah. And like, I'm glad it seems that like you're not just saying, like, oh, it's because God tells me. Because yeah. then I'd be like, ooh. I have blind faith. Uh, and I'm, and then you I'd just have like, to believe. I'd be like, hey, Jordan, you know I got to call. Because it makes me sound yeah. like a crazy person. Yeah. But I like the fact that you have some facts to it. I don't necessarily agree with it. Right. But we'll... You we'll haven't been able to, to fact check yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let me, let me get... We'll, so eventually Andy will Can go home and study this video and then he'll come back. Yeah. Hopefully. And then we'll come back thinking that like it's flat or something like that. <laughs> um, so, okay, so one more on the fossils. In yeah. dinosaur bones, they're now finding like soft tissue. And so they, most people talked about fossils believing that it, the bone is not there at all and it was just the sediment filling up that crevice. And so it's like an exact mold of the thing. But now they're opening up fossils and they're finding that it's really the bone. And it has soft tissue and blood vessels. Can it be that it's just really well preserved? No, because over time, at the rate things decay, it would completely no. be gone. Interesting. Interesting. All right. And even if it's completely yeah. well, like real, well yeah. preserved, it would be gone. And so, kind like, of, yeah, um, scientists are having a hard time explaining this. And instead of saying, "Well, maybe it's not as old as we thought," they say, "Well, maybe things decompose differently." Yeah. And that's that's like your answer is, "Well, maybe it's preserved well." And so it gets to this point where you have your worldview, and so you just interpret the evidence yeah. differently. Right, so now you see what I'm saying. And it's I not, kinda get, I it's kinda not get saying that you're saying. hard-headed, yeah, because yeah. people, that's just how we reason things. That's yeah, how yeah. we look at the world. Everybody has a worldview, yeah. and you can't shake that unless you're really, really opening up to new ideas. Yeah. Definitely need to look into that a little more. You, you know, I was surprised that I was going to get schooled on some, like, science stuff right now. Okay, I'm gonna. We'll definitely bookmark that one for later. <laughs> um, but um, okay, so going in with fossils, what about the other species of people? Okay, so like, we know, like okay, we know that they were there. But there were other species of people. We have fossils, right? All this different stuff. There so the only thing that I don't have an answer for is your pygmy people. I have no idea what that is oh, or like where to look. No. Them up. Okay, so while you're doing that, I'll talk about the other ones. And so you have thing like the something Peta, something with a P man, and he was like a Neanderthal that was like fossilized that they Wait, found. Say that again. I don't remember what it was called. Okay, so. National Geographic. Uh, I feel okay. like we can like we can agree that this is a trustworthy place. All right, I'm gonna put in edit what we're looking at too, so you guys can see it. <laughs> Whenever you say you guys, I kind of look around like there's <laughs> other people in here. And see, so like at first they thought it was just children, right? But once they looked in, they realized that these were like older people, and they're making them look like monkeys. I don't know. I don't know that looks like, like a monkey. Okay, a little bit, but... You guys tell me if that looks like a monkey or not. I mean, I'm not saying that it's a monkey. I'm just saying that's what they look like. Maybe like they were just half, hair. Like, missing link kind Maybe of thing. Maybe they were just hair. Um, so, yeah, let's talk about the Neanderthals. So, most people, like, go off of Darwin's theory of, like, evolution. Yeah. 
And so they say, well, we came from something, and we're most like monkeys, so there must be, like, a link between yeah. monkeys and us that looks like somewhere in the in-between. Yeah. You know, it's weird, because, like, we have a lot of similarities with other things, like, as far as, like, pigs. Mm -hmm. They have a lot of, like, genetic similarities. Or, like, did you ever see that show, uh, Deadliest Warrior? Do you remember when they would test out weapons, they would yeah. use it on, like, pigs? Yeah. Because they said it was really close to our skin. I always thought that was interesting. Mm. And so... Um, a lot of people have found like missing links and they like this this happens over and over and over again yeah and so like in the 40s or the 50s it was like uh, the whatever P man I can't remember I'll put it in the edit but they thought okay well this guy is you know he's a real fossil and then eventually science got better and they looked into these fossils again and it was just a chimpanzee head uh, like jaw on top of like under a human skull <laughs> why because the, they just faked it I guess <laughs> This happens. Yeah, yeah. And I, like oh, this yeah, is yeah. a conspiracy. This is you know, yeah. like this is this it makes really sense happened. That, like people would like. So then there's another one, um, and I don't remember what it was. And they like built this whole family yeah. and like this fossil thing, and and it was based off of one tooth that they found, and then eventually they found out that it was a pig tooth, and so like this stuff keeps happening. And I'm not saying that there weren't like Neanderthal yeah. type men. I'll, I'll get to that right now, but even like the most recent one, Lucy, that they have like in museums right now. Yeah. Like, they have the top half of what looks like a like a chimpanzee, and it's only like three feet tall. And then the bottom half, they didn't have anything, and they built it off one knee bone. And the knee bone they found a year earlier, a mile away, two hundred feet deeper. And so like they take all of, like they take that big huge gap, that big huge yeah. leap of faith, and then they build up this whole fossil. And like there's I don't I don't believe just because of what the Bible says, that there will ever be a missing link because we didn't come from monkeys. Yeah. But Do we have come from pigs? No. No. The, the reason we share DNA with certain things is because we have to have the same proteins and we have to have similar makeups yeah. to be able to consume them. And so we share DNA with broccoli, but it's not it's because we oh, came from broccoli. Yeah. It's because if we didn't share that kind of DNA with anything else, the yeah. only thing we'd be able to consume and gain nutrients from is each other. Don't they say we're actually like really close to bananas too? I don't know. I, I think I've heard that. But we gain a lot of Fact nutrients table. from yeah. bananas. That's true. Potassium. So that's why our DNA is similar yeah. to those things. But that it's not sense. so similar that it, we're close in family. Yeah. Um, where was I going? Oh. But there are obvious, like, human fossils of people with, like, huge, like, brow lines and, and things that yeah. look Neanderthal-like. And they find them in caves and, you know. And so then you wonder, well, what about cavemen? I'm sure Adam and Eve weren't cavemen, right? That's what most people say. That they were cavemen? That, that they, they weren't. weren't. Oh. Right? And so they'll use that to argue against the Bible. They'll say, well, look at these fossils of cavemen. This is obviously real. So how do you answer yeah. for that? And so I was researching a while ago, but I learned that our brow never stops growing. It gets bigger and bigger, like, our entire life, which is interesting. But, like, that's one of the most prominent Neanderthal features. Yeah. But that fits with my evidence because... Does you have a big forehead? <laughs> Just kidding. Because in the beginning of the Bible, people lived to be like 900 years old. Oh, yeah. So if their brow never stops sense. growing, at the end of that, they're going to look yeah. pretty caveman-like. Somebody brought that up, and I always thought that was really interesting, that we, our bodies could last like tech, like hundreds of years, and there is like some science behind it, but that we just don't. There's a difference now. There's this, um, oh, I've been reading this one thing, because they were talking about how like we have a biological age, and there's a scientist... I think his name is David Sinclair. He's really interesting. And he talks about, like, his research is how to lower our biological age. Mm. And how his goal is to get to where we can lower our biological age by, like, decades. I yeah. thought that was really interesting. But even he kind of talks about how, like, our bodies could kind of, are, he kind of mentions that, like, we could last a long time, but, like, we just don't because we yeah. have so many different problems. Right. And that fits with my 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 worldview, too, because when sin entered the world, it put, like, a clock on us. And it put... Yeah that's where sickness comes from and that's where like the deterioration of yeah like the people whether or not you believe in the bible the people thousands of years ago were a lot more complex and beautiful and healthy than we are now like we've continued yeah, well i don't know it's because like we did hit like a bad time where like our health was really bad and like uh i'd say anywhere from like 1300 all the way kind of like up it wasn't until like recently where like um we started getting taller, we started getting like a little bit better like physically, but now we are starting to have more problems because of like our diet. 
Because, like, remember... I don't um, think it's just stuff like that, though. Like, that's not what I'm pointing out. What are you pointing out? I'm pointing out things like the fact that we both wear glasses. Our eyes don't work as good as they should. Oh, I'm pointing out right. the things like people getting cancer when they're older. That's right. Or the fact but that... But cancer's always been around. Yeah. But it's more prominent now. Yeah. Um, I'm pointing out things like... Um, but our life balding is, yeah. when you get older. Yeah. Right? These are things that shouldn't happen to us, that happen to us, because we... But, continued like to mate and lose information yeah. in our genome but our life expectancy has gone up like well yeah because we're able to take care of ourselves yeah, through yeah. science but it's never going to go back up to the well, yeah it's not really like it's taking care of us but i guess there's an argument that it's not really like saving us or it's not like fixing all of our problems but you know what's crazy you know our life expectancy dropped to what in the u.s oh, i forgot what the percentage but it's the first time it's dropped since like 1918 mm. you know what happened in 1918 End of World War One and the Spanish flu. It's crazy. Hmm. What else on the Neanderthals? Okay, so like, there was a guy here speaking a few weeks ago, and he talked about how in Papua New Guinea, and I think it's in Africa, the people have wider feet and bone structures than us. Oh, nice. Okay, the life expectancy go do- goes down. And they say it's because of drug overdoses and suicides. Hmm. Slow. Oh, so what were we saying about Papua New Guinea? So in Papua New Guinea, the people have a wide, like wider feet yeah. and a bone structure because of the mud and stuff, and that's just from like naturally like you know, if you have wider feet, you can walk better and you breathe. Yeah. It's like natural selection, and so is that kind of like evolution? Different. What? Different. It's different now. Okay. All right. How is it different? <laughs> You're evolving into something better, like to be more suitable for like your. Because you're climate. losing information in your genome instead of gaining. So the, the idea is that I believe things change. Yeah. Right? If you look at dogs, they've changed a lot. Yeah, if you have a chihuahua and a whatever and they breed, it turns into a different dog. Yeah. But it's never going to turn into a cat. I feel like it's a little extreme. But, it's, but Okay. So on a, on a molecular level, if you look at the DNA, and this is, this is something that you guys can look up if you don't believe me, but it's true, it's factual. Like Anything yes. that breeds with something else... The baby is losing information in the genome and it gains information from both parents but like say uh, I have green eyes say I breed with somebody who has green eyes most likely my baby is gonna have green eyes but I know in my genome my dad had brown eyes but eventually if I keep breeding with people with green eyes and they breed with green eyes we're gonna lose the ability to have brown eyes okay so if we're like losing how would we gain them like if you were to just kind of like clone yourself or you don't so you can never okay it's from having somebody else that you mate with that has that information in their genome and so like you have all dogs even even secular scientists like who don't believe the bible agree with this like all dogs you are like they come from a common ancestor which is like the gray wolf and so the gray wolf has all the information for all those possible dog types right has information for long hair short hair short legs long legs right you have all this information but if these two wolves you know if their babies move to somewhere that's warm then the ones that are naturally going to live are the ones with short hair right so the information there is going to be lost to have long so hair. do you think it's more adaptation than yes. evolution i believe in adaptation like that's testable repeatable it's yeah. provable but evolution isn't because Anytime you're breeding with something, you're losing information in your genome. So nothing new could ever come unless it's just because you lost information. Yeah. Father Jordan, schooling me again. I want to get back to you on this one. I'm going to bookmark this one. Cool. Um, But the point of Papua New Guinea is, like, these Neanderthal mans and, like, these cavemen, their bone structures look different, but our bone structures would probably look different if you compared them. Um, Like me from you? Yeah. Just me from you. Oh, you're saying we're not the same? I'm saying we're not the same. You're saying we're different on the inside? Okay. Oh, my gosh. No, I'm just kidding. But the same thing in Papua New Guinea. Like, if you compared my skeleton to somebody over there, as far as feet, they'd look really different. And you'd say, you know, well, what the heck you happened do here? Big feet. I do have big feet, and they're flat, but I bet you they still wouldn't be as flat as theirs. And so you look at, like, especially if you believe that people could be 900, 200 years old, and their brow never stops growing, their skull is going to look very different from ours. And so it's so it's... It's plausible and it's possible, and I believe that it's true, that you can end up with humans that have like different skull and facial structures and bone structures yeah. than what we would have today. And it, it doesn't make them, you know, dumber. It doesn't make them like less. They're yeah. humans. They're just 
it's different cultures, it's different people breeding together, creating different communities. But, like, there's, like, what they're saying is that, like, it's a different species when they look at it. That's like, what they say, like, yeah. Yeah. So, do But I don't think that that's not? true. So you think that all of these are, like, humans? Yes. Which... And the, the, thing is, the thing that they run into is that they've done that. They've taken these caveman skulls and said it's a different species, and then they've tested it, and then they go, oh, crap, it's exactly the same DNA as humans, and then they don't know what to do. But this happens. This is testable. It's provable. So you just throw it away, and you they throw away the project. They like they quiet yeah. it down. But it's happened with any like missing link that they've found with anything. They always end up finding that it's not true. But that's not the news you hear as much as when it first comes out. Hmm. But that's happened. Like I'm not just pulling this out of my butt, and I'm not just being a conspiracy theorist. Cheers. People say that this is a new species of man that used to live, but then they test it, and it's really just human DNA. Okay, I need to look into this a little more. You know what, I gotta uh, tip my hat off to you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, because I don't want to just believe this stuff yeah. to believe it, right? I never... That's what you've always, like, asked questions? Well, and, and Andy knows me from before I was a Christian, before I followed God, and he knows that I wouldn't <laughs> just... Jordan was bad. I wouldn't just blindly follow something, <laughs> yeah. and this is never where I expected to be in my life. This is you not were... what I wanted to be. I would almost use the word, like, you're very defiant. You're like, why Why do I have to do this? I used to say that I wanted to be a porn star when I grew up. <laughs> you did? Jordan used to say crazy things. You're so funny. I'm a soul, Jordan. Nah, I'm just kidding. I like the show. But no, Jordan used to be really... F oh, my God. You're so funny. Mm. But, um, yeah, like, Jordan has always been like, oh, well, what do you mean I can't do this? Or what do you mean no? Remember, so Jordan, I'd say you were a lot... You are heavier, right? When you would yeah. try to play safety? Yes. He, play, he played uh, Noah's guard. And I remember you would always tell Coach Ramin, Coach, put me in at safety. Yeah. Coach, put me in at safety. But I got to play safety because I asked so many times. Because he asked so many times. You annoyed him. It was the first, like, 250-pound safety. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you were so scared back then. But... Yeah, but he knows me well enough to know that I'm not just, like... I didn't just get into a cult and now I'm a Christian and I tell people to believe blindly He's in like a cult. I do. Like I've researched this stuff, I've like I've yeah. looked at it, and I've spent enough time to affirm why I believe what I believe, not just challenge it, but to come to a conclusion. Yeah. I think that this conversation, we're running out of time, but I think it's really far from over. I would love to have you back. Yeah, I'm gonna come back definitely more prepared. Yeah. I feel like we. You brought up some interesting points. I feel like we opened more doors than yeah. we were able to, like, put a cap on. I feel like, yeah, I feel like we both imagined that we're like, okay, like, we're gonna... It's gonna be really finishes. linear. It's yeah. just gonna go... We're finished. But, yeah, if, if you don't mind having these conversations with me, I know that people will get something from them. And just, like, I, I want people to understand that. And most of my... I don't think most of my viewers are Christian. I think most of I them are not. I was some of your comments, and somebody was talking about how, like... I think they said, like, oh, I'm an atheist, but I really like the way you look at yeah. things. And I saw it, I was like, dang. I'm just I think... negative comments. <laughs> Keep you humble. Yeah. Oh, they do. I got a humble. Do you thing. watch Game of Thrones? Yeah. Do you know Jon Snow? Yeah. So on one of my videos, there's a comment, and it says, it looks like Jon Snow hasn't seen many battles recently. Oh. And it was when I had a beard. <laughs> and I was like, dang, that one hurt. <laughs> they keep me humble. Keep I've been going to the gym because of you guys. Yeah. I guess, like, I'm doing this more, like, just because I have a lot of questions. Yeah. And, like, it's just, like, I don't know, I just, I just have, like, things. You know what, um, when I went to, uh, went to a church in Fort Worth, I remember just sitting there, and sometimes, like, I'll forget, like, my questions, and the pastor was just talking, and I was just, like, flooding in my head. I was like, oh, my goodness, this is, I need to ask Jordan about this, I want to ask oh, yeah. about this, 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 and that. But... We were supposed to talk about sex, we were supposed to talk about drugs, we were supposed oh, to talk about a bunch those. of other different, other different topics. Yeah. So we'll definitely have to continue. But like the, the main point, again, is that true, I don't think, I don't believe, and I know that it's not true, that truth is like subjective. Two plus two is always going to be four, and most of the things in life work the same way, especially the deeper truths. That's what I think. So you think it's more like objective? Yeah, I think that truth is true, and that's it. I don't yeah. think that, like, I don't believe when people say, well, this is true for me, but it might not be true for you. Like, two plus two can't be three for me. And a lot of realities in life, especially if it comes to God and there is a God, yeah. it's not, well, my God is this person. Yeah. Like, I can't say that to you. I can't say, 
well, to me, Andy is a beautiful blonde woman, right? Because it's not true. I like to think so. I know you like to think so, but it's not true. Um, but I think it's the same way. But I think that people should be more open to searching for truth. Yeah. And that's the point of this. Is that, like, especially for my followers, because most of them aren't Christians, I want them to understand that it's okay to ask questions. It's okay to, to not really know if God's real, to not know who he is. and, and But you should look into it, especially with people saying... And I, I like I stand by it too. But if if people believe that it's life or death and it's eternity, then if there's a chance that it could be true, you should definitely look into yeah. it. You know, it's worth it. It's investing. And also, like even if you ask questions to other people and you don't get the answers you're looking for, I think like you, if you do it in a respectful way and you do it with like you're trying to like keep your mind open, you do develop like good friendships. Like, yeah. Or you do develop sort of connections. And, like I feel like everybody's saying like we're really divided. I don't know. I've gone to bars and talked to older white guys about politics <laughs> and lean very left and they're very conservative and we had good conversations. Mm. I think a lot of it has to do with like just being willing to listen to like yeah. other people. Because like whether whether it gets saved or not, Jordan, well, I've had a fun time. Good. We've, we've had a good relationship. Well, maybe somebody on the YouTube will get saved. The YouTube? The YouTube line. The YouTube? Yeah. The YouTube. But yeah, it's been really good. Um, I wish I could say I'm really the same. grateful that you came and did uh, this. I wish I could say the same. No, I'm just kidding. I had a really good time. <laughs> and uh, hopefully you guys have watched this far, but like and subscribe because we're going to do more and it should be just as deep topics. And I heard a pastor say the other day that the two things churches preach the least on are the two things that we think the most about, which is money and sex. So next time we'll talk about sex too. Okay. And drugs and everything else and my deep, dark past. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. <laughs>